Welcome everybody, this is your boy Jordan Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. But before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters that's on my screen. A big shout out to Sam My aka WLAG, Crazy Boss V31, Foxy, Weez GNZ Gaming, Moldy Superman YT, and even Jordan. Now these people are our channel members on our YouTube platform, and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So with that said, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install the Mosley Auto Service and Dataship mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always, make sure you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process, then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. So make sure you download this mod. Now this mod does require the Mosley Auto Shop and I will leave this inside my description below. So make sure you download this mod. Now, unfortunately, doing it this way is quite hard because you need to do a lot of editing. So I did make a new folder and then now you guys can install it easily. So I will leave this inside my description below as well. So make sure you download this as well. Now, once you have completed that process, then we can get started. Now the first thing that we are going to install is the Mosley Auto Shop, okay, which is this one over here. We are going to install this first. So, open up the extract folder. Now inside that folder will be another one. Open up your Mosley Auto's service folder. And now all you got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Now make sure you do install your latest requirements and if you don't know how to install them then I do have a tutorial video inside my description on how to install the most important files. So once you have completed that then all you got to do is go to your mods folder, go to your update folder, go to times 64, go to your DRC packs folder. Now all you got to do is go back to your extract folder. And now, all you got to do next is select your Mosley Nut folder and drag it inside your DRC Packs folder. And that's all you got to do. Go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, and go to your DRC Packs list. And then now, all you got to do is copy this, okay? And then that's all you got to do. Copy that list, and then now exit out of your extract folder. Go to your OpenIV and now go to your Grand Theft Auto V Windows. Now this process will take a few seconds, it all depends on your PC performance. Now once it's open, go to edit mode, select yes and go to your mods folder, go to update, go to update.rpf and now go to common, go to data, scroll right down to the bottom and now open up your drclist.xml, right click, and then go to edit mode. And then I'll scroll right down to the bottom, and I'll select to the side, press enter once on your keyboard, and paste your code right there. Now save your code, go back to your drclist.xml, double click, then now just double check to see if it's saved, yes it is. Now exit out of your there, Go to edit mode, go to GTA V, exit out of your OpenIV, and now we have finished installing that file. Now the next mod that we are going to install is this one over here, the Mosley Auto Service in Dealership. So to install that, all you got to do is open up your MAS extract folder, which is this one over here. Where is it? Yeah. So open up your MAS extract folder and now uh, once you are inside that folder all you got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, 
hover over it, right click and open file location. Now inside that folder, okay, all you gotta do is go to your scripts folder. Now make sure you do spell scripts correct and make sure that your scripts is the lower case. Now once you have finished with that, then open up your scripts folder. And then now once you're inside your scripts folder, all you gotta do is go back to your extract folder and open up this folder over here. And now all you gotta do is select all the files and folder and then drag it inside your scripts folder. And that's all you gotta do. Now all you gotta do next is exit out of your extract folder, go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click re and then refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game. And we're back again, so we're here with Franklin and we are in the game now. So as you guys can see that I'm in the game and my game did not crash. Now open up your map and as you guys can see, when you go in the middle somewhere, I think it's over here somewhere, where is it? Over here. Now over here is where the Mosley Auto Shop is, okay? So I'm going to just go straight over there and I'll see you guys over there. I'm right here now, I'm right in the middle of the map somewhere, uh, in the middle of Los Santos, and that's where the mod is, uh, right over here. So, let's go and uh, give a little tour around the whole mod, okay? So, just come through here, and now the door opens, okay? You can drive it in here if you want to. You can make this as your private garage if you want to, but the only thing is that you can't save your vehicle. Um, but you can save it in here if you code it. Um, this is the office number one. And in here is a few vehicles. You can interact with the ATM. This is the waiting room. This mod is pretty awesome by the way. I really like this mod. This mod is awesome. Over here is the front desk with a pretty ass lady. I don't know if, it, if she's pretty or not. Now over here, you can actually buy vehicles too, so this is pretty awesome, see? You can buy, um, like, armored vehicles, um, yeah, this is just like the custom, um, vehicle, so yeah, this is pretty awesome, but I'm not gonna buy one, okay, and over here is another office, and over here, there's a lot of rooms too, that I like, over here, I've already been there, now over here is the room over here, uh, let's start over here, now over here looks like a, this one over here is a, oh wait, yeah this one over here is like a boardroom table, bathroom, and what's in here, this one over here is, ah uh, this is to go outside, And what else is this one over here? And this one over here is to go outside again. And this one over here is to the front desk. And we're gonna go inside the garage, okay? Uh, I think it's over here. Nope. Where's the garage? Over here. Now this is the garage, okay? Over here, you can custom your vehicle inside here. You can bring your vehicle in here. Now somehow these things over here starts glitching when you move. As you can see it starts glitching. But that's alright. And the office is up here. Which is the manager's office. This is the driver enterprise um, business over here. And yeah see this is the office. This is the big boss office. Not crazy boss office. Um, and come down here. And you can bring your vehicles in. Uh, I will give you guys a little demonstration that you can bring your vehicle in with the car. With the car. Let me just go and grab your car. Okay, I need your car. Sorry, lady. I'm just going to give a little demonstration to the viewers. Okay, on what your car can do. Now, just come over here. And now you can bring your car. And then there you go. Now, unfortunately, you need to be going. You know, yeah, you need to be going through the store. There you go. So yeah, you need to be going through that door. So now, as you guys can see, we can now custom this car. 
And now you can do whatever to this car. Up, you can upgrade it to whatever. But once you're finished, you can back out and exit. And now you will exit through the other side of the door. See? Pretty cool, eh? Oh, there. Oh, wait. You need to remove that box over there. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like this mod. And we're back again. So I hope you guys do enjoy that mod. That mod is an awesome mod. I'm actually going to keep that mod because that mod is an awesome mod. And I really do like it. So, with that I said, okay, before I do go, like always, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help out on that. Or, if you do get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help out on that as well. But, if I don't reply back on time, then I will leave my Discord server inside my description below. So, I hope you guys do enjoy that. So if you guys did enjoy this video or if it was helpful then smash that like button and subscribe for more gaming content and tutorials and I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.